Hello, my treasures. Sai UVA here. So, Spider Man. Pretty good topic to start talking about, but, uh, hmm, where do I begin? I think he's been there throughout my entire childhood, to be honest, with the movies, the games, the animated series, you know. So there's tons to talk about, but I'm not gonna focus on the movies or the animated series. But I'm gonna say a few words about that, sure. Um, the movies were obviously my first, you know, interaction or introduction to Spider-Man as a character. Because I've never read comics before. Not to this day, I still have not read any kind of comics. So, the movies are the only way I knew of Spider-Man's existence. And then, Spectacular Spider-Man came around and I was introduced to the world of voice acting, so... Yeah, so they had a little bit of a contribution to this journey, but I'm gonna be focusing on the games, to be honest. So yeah, um, before I begin though, I have uh, something really important to say, so uh, I'll be saying that first. So before we start the video though, I need to apologize for not uploading any content. A few weeks ago, my grand grand passed away and I was just broken. I could not do anything at all. And I needed a break. But I don't think my grand grand would want me to, you know, <laughs> laze around and sob all day. She, she'd want me to do something useful with my life. So here I am, back and ready to upload more content for you guys um uh, i hope you i hope you enjoy it so let's let's start with the video uh how spider-man changed my life also forgive me if i am sounding very sleepy slash drunk it is 4 a.m. in the morning, and no, I'm not drunk. I'm sleepy, <laughs> but I can't sleep for some reason. But then my mind told me, you know what? Let's make a Spider-Man video on how it changed my life. So here we are. Where do I begin, though? Hmm. Ah, yeah, of course. Spider-Man 2 for the PS2. What a great place to start with. This game is, uh... Not aged well. <laughs> In terms of graphics, but in terms of gameplay, it's still great. But, yeah, uh, my first Spider-Man game in childhood was Spider-Man 2 for the PS2. And, I don't know, it's been a long time since I played this game. I can say that I have very fond memories with it. Also, it made me feel like Spider-Man, of course, that's what the game's aim is. And I'm pretty happy, because, you know... If Spider-Man 2 hadn't been there, I wouldn't have, you know, been inspired or motivated to, you know, imitate characters or character voices. So, I gotta give props to that, even if the game hasn't aged pretty well. Why are you running? Oh my god. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how it all started. Uh, I played Spider-Man 2 and I started being talking like Toby. Not exactly Toby, but, you know, Spider-Man vibes. And it was pretty fun. I guess that's how, you know, my mind told me, my, my small mind at the time told me, Oh, this is very fun. Maybe you should try more of this. And I started imitating more characters. And that's where my journey as a VA began. Very, very, very happy moments from my childhood with this game. And I will never forget that. So, I'm pretty proud of this game. Again, even if it hasn't aged well. <laughs> so, yeah. I think the game after uh, Spider-Man 2 that I played was Web of Shadows. Now, that game is not known for having the best voice acting. I know it has pretty good voice acting. I really enjoy the game. And I think it's the game that made me feel truly like Spider-Man. More than Spider-Man 2 did, because of course... Better graphics and better, you know, swinging stuff. 
I can't describe the the exact word. I, gu I guess we could say swinging mechanisms. And yeah, that's that's what pretty much you know made me interested in the character of Spider-Man is the, this game because this is one of the darkest Spider-Man stories ever told. I just you know I felt very relatable to this version of Peter because. Not in the past, of course. I was a kid back then, but now I feel like I feel very relatable with this Spider-Man or this Peter Parker, as well as Remaster. I mean, Spider-Man, Marvel's Spider-Man, Peter, both are very relatable to me. But yeah, I think Web of Shadows was the game that made me feel truly like Spider-Man, and I wanted to be Spider-Man because of this game in particular. Uh, yeah, and Edge of Time, of course. We can't forget Edge of Time. Edge of Time is one of my favorite Spider-Man games to have, like, one of the best voice acting in Spider-Man franchise. Because, obviously, top, the best Spider-Man voice acting will obviously Marvel be Marvel Spider-Man. But Edge of Time is a close second, I'd say that. And I know I'm repeating a lot, but forgive me, I'm sleepy. Uh... Yeah, at the time, I had really good voice acting, and I think that's where I really started to, you know, grasp the character of Spider-Man. Like, not just Peter Parker, because until then, I was just interested in Peter's character. Like, Peter inside the suit, how is he go? how is, like, how... I'm at a loss of words. Like, how he goes through all of this as Spider-Man, and not Spider-Man himself, and the sacrifices that he has to do. But when Edge of Time came out, that's when I truly learned how Spider-Man really works. You know, Peter is a different person. Spider-Man is a different ego, alter ego. You get the gist. But, yeah. Um, and then, of course, I played Marvel Spider-Man. Because I never got the chance to play any other Spider-Man games much. Because I was very broke. And also, I didn't have a console at the time. I only had a, a poor laptop. But then, around this year, uh, I got a better laptop. Thank God. And thank you to the community. This the community made the community made my new laptop possible. So I have to thank you all for supporting me with the with, with all your heart. It would, this wouldn't have been possible without you guys, so thank you so much. And I thought, you know what? Since Spider-Man is being ported to PC, I should maybe give it a shot. And actually, I was like, I want to give it a shot because when the PS4 version of Spider-Man came out, I wanted to play it so bad, but my brother could not afford the game because broke. <laughs> we had a PS4, but we could not afford the game at the time. The sad part was most of my friends, all like all of my friends at the time, owned a copy of Spider-Man. I was the only one who didn't play it because I could not afford it. I had to wait four damn years to finally play the game on PC. But you know what? The four year wait was worth it because this game was the main reason I'm here right now. Is the main reason I'm here right now because the first time I listened to the voice lines of this game, like Peter especially, Yuri Lowenthal, you kick ass, okay? You are the best version of Peter Parker slash Spider-Man I've ever heard to date. And this is by far the best version of Spider-Man ever. I'm telling movies, games, animated, I, I'm telling you overall, you are the one of, one of the best Spider-Man I've ever seen in my life. And that is like... And that is not easy to get because I rarely cry during gameplay. You know, when I play games, I do not cry. But this game, it managed to make me cry by the ending. I was sobbing like a child because of how relatable this character was and how relatable he sounded, how Yuri made him sound that relatable. So props to you, man. You're a legend. You're my role model. Of course, so thank you. You did a fantastic job, by the way. And William Sawyer's, of course, as Otto Octavius, Doctor Octopus. 
he he did a wonderful job too. I mean, you two carried this game seriously. And four years later, here I am playing the game, and by the ending, I was just sobbing. I was just down in tears. And that proves like how good the voice acting was in this game because that voice acting inspired me, gave me the proper motivation to step into this field myself. Because if this game did not exist, I wouldn't be here doing voice acting on YouTube or just doing voice acting in general. No, I wouldn't be here. It's because of this game that I'm in this platform right now talking to you guys and hopefully if you're listening to this talking to you yuri and insomniac so thank you thank you and uh, what can i say this game is a masterpiece but here's the main part that i was going to talk about all of this was just like how you know my life how this like how spider-man the games have affected my childhood but now here's the main thing how it affected my emotional status because before I you know before playing spider-man I was playing sunset overdrive and at that time I was super super depressed and I, I don't know if you remember this Yuri but once I finished the game I did a tweet talking about how you know sunset overdrive cured me of my depression because I was going through such a dark place i was in a d dark place very dark place sunset overdrive managed to you know bring me back because of how fun and goofy and en entertaining it was and all because of the fantastic voice acting that you guys did as well and yuri you were in there too so what what a coincidence wherever i find inspiration or positive aura or positive vibes somehow you're always there so that's why I see you as a role model. It's very nice, you know, to see you there, wherever, like, I'm down, to cheer me up. And I know, you know, it's not, you don't know me, but you're still there somehow. And that is something, you know, that made me deeply, deeply respect you as a voice actor. And made me want to be like you, you know? And then Spider-Man came around, and I was playing Spider-Man. I remember finishing the main campaign and you know spoiler alert um, you know after anime dies you know and Peter was just super you know devastated he was just completely down I didn't know that pain much because I haven't lost a dear person like that to me yet a few days later I would get a phone call saying that my grand grand had passed away and I was devastated I knew I then realized what you know what Peter was going through at that ending and it like, affected me so much but then I remembered you know this is after a few days by the way uh, I remembered how Peter stayed strong even after all that happened he still stayed strong and continued to defend, you know, the defend New York as Spider-Man. And that gave me, I don't know, that gave me like, that gave me motivation to be like Spider-Man. How, you know, no matter how much, you know, they take you down, how much, you know, fate kicks you in the butt and says, nope, you're not coming up today, you're going down, you, you fight back. You fight back against, you know, fate and say, No, screw you, I'm making my own destiny today. I'm gonna rise back up, I'm gonna be the best. You know, or I'm gonna do my best as much as I can, no matter what happens. I thought, you know what? If Spider-Man can do that, I'm gonna do the same. And my grand grand would want me to do the same anyway. She wouldn't want me to just you know, sit around, lazy, and sobbing without doing anything. She would want me to do something good. You know, she would want me to do something that I that makes me happy with my life. So, I thought, you know what? Break's over, I'm coming back, I'm gonna do more of this. And here I am. 
making more content again. I'm just very tired. <laughs> but yeah. This game, you know, brought me back from, what can I say, from the very darkest place that I was in. So, you know, this game changed my life for the better. Really, really it did. I'm, I'm very happy that I can say that I own a copy of this game because without this game, I wouldn't be here in the first place. I wouldn't have met so many wonderful voice actors out there I wouldn't have had supporters like you guys or I wouldn't know that I had a talent like this myself it's only because of you guys that I'm even here so I'm, I gotta appreciate you I gotta appreciate Insomniac Games because Insomniac and Yuri you both you guys both pull me up from a very very troubling you know, state that I was in. I got nothing but gratitude for that. And Spider-Man made me want to be like Spider-Man, you know. Not just a superhero in spandex, no. But a guy who won't back down no matter what happens. And I'm proud to say I think I am that guy now. And also, um, side note, one of my biggest dreams is to voice act, you know, with Yuri as a Spidey. And it's because, you know, Spider-Man's been part of my life and I really want to do that. Maybe one day, maybe one day, I'll be Spider-Man as well. I'm going to wear the mask one day. But I do hope, Yuri, I hope we could talk. It would be an honor, though. It would be a huge honor to talk to you, you know learn tips or just just talk you know as as a voice actor you know fan from a fan as a fan to a va that kind of way you know or a va to a va either way <laughs> but yeah i have to thank all of you for being here for me no matter what and i'm proud of you guys for you know pushing me to do better even when I was not doing the best. You guys wanted me to do better. You guys made me... You guys made me the guy I am today. No matter, like, whatever I was going through. You guys were always there for me, so... Thank you. Really. Yep. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's 4... 4.30? 5? No, no, it's not 4.30. It's 4.30 a.m. I need to go sleep. <laughs> But yes, um, as a conclusion, Spider-Man did change my life in a very heavy way, very impactful way, and yeah, as the game says, be greater, you know you can, then try it, do it, just be greater, you got this, and I'll do my best to be greater as well. Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, and I don't know. If you're listening to this, uh, Yuri, or if anyone from Insomniac, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here, so thank you so much. Alright guys, with that, I will end this video. I'll have to go sleep before my mom wakes up and kicks my ass. So, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. You know what to do with the whole... Subscribe, like, thingy, yay, the whole YouTube shenanigans, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, thank you so much, love you all, and it's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, out and about, protecting the city, Spider-Cop moment, <laughs> I love Spider-Cop, Spider-Cop rules, okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop, thank you, thank you, love you all, see you later, bye-bye.